In this video, let's just uh, talk about a little bit about using custom CSS in block themes. And let's just say that we made all the possible configuration in our site editor, all the possible configuration in theme JSON file, and it's still not enough. We need some more options for styling our theme. For example, uh, here we're just using like a custom block theme we created a couple of videos before. I will leave a link down in the description below, by the way. And here we have um, an example of this theme we used. I mean, here's the original theme we used as an example when we created our black theme. And in this original theme, you can see that we have some kind of box shadow over this block. But in our theme, we do not have it. And let's say that we do not have uh, any option inside editor to add this box shadow to this specific block. So let's just make a preview. And yes, as you can see, we do not have any box shadow over this main block. And let's use custom CSS for the, in order to add this block shadow. Okay, so sh what should we do in this case? So we need to go to our theme.json file and in this file we need to go to this style section. So it is settings section. We do not need that right now. We just scroll down and then we have the next section which is styles. And here we can just add custom CSS like this. And here goes the custom CSS. <laughs> I'm just gonna type it <laughs> like this for now. And let's say in our case, we need to add a box shadow to this block, right? And uh, we need some kind of selector of this block, right? And uh, I'm just suggesting you to select this specific block. It is a grow block here inside editor and add any kind of selector. I'm gonna add uh, a CSS class here, but you can use, uh, I guess, uh, block ID as well. But I'm, I'm just using CSS classes. And let's say it's gonna be, I don't know, main wrapper, for example. So on that save, and then we just go to the theme JSON file, and we're gonna create this rule, CSS rule here. And here we need to add a box shadow. And uh, by the way, let's just create it here first of all. So I'm gonna select this block and I'm gonna add box shadow right here. I'm not sure, maybe something like 005 and this color. Okay, seem, seems good for me. So let's just copy this part from here and we're gonna paste it into our theme JSON file like this on that save. And let's uh, check it out. Let's refresh this page, the site editor. And I'm not sure if you can see it, but we, right now we have a box shadow over this block. Yes. And if you go to our website, you can see that box shadow is also here. So everything is working, right? And um, right now I'm just going to show you how you can add this uh, custom CSS for some specific blocks. Right now we just added it for the whole website. And of course, uh, if you're going to add everything here in this rule, maybe it's not uh, super convenient. And I recommend to use a kinda, kinda similar approach how we did here in settings for some specific blocks. So I'm just gonna add blocks here. And uh, here I need to create, I mean, to add a block name. Just like this, just like here. For example, let's say it's gonna be a column block. And then we need to add CSS. That's pretty much it, guys. And uh, let's say 
Just as an example, let's add the box shadow as well. Why not? On that save and uh, yes, as you can see, both of our columns are now have box shadows. And a little bit more tricks for you. And um, for example, if you just gonna type something like, um, for example, let's say that that we need to add a box shadow to this uh, search input. So I'm just gonna copy its class from here, and uh, I'm gonna type something like this. And please keep in mind that I'm using like a space here. It's it's really important, guys. Do not forget about that. So I'm gonna save on that. And right now we have like a box shadow only for this search input, which is, by the way, should be inside the column block. So any other search inputs are not going to have a box shadow, only the one which is inside this specific block here. And there is also one more trick. We can also add CSS rules for the block itself. And then we just gonna type something like this. And then we add some extra CSS for its inner blocks. Like this. And right now we have box shadows for all the columns and also for this search input as well. And of course, uh, this CSS rule can be different. That should be obvious, guys. And uh, yes, I guess uh, that's all that I wanted to, to tell you in this video. And uh, see you in the next one. Bye.